Hey, what's up guys? JP here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be showing you guys how to make a very delicious spatchcock Caribbean jerk style chicken using our own blends of JP rubs. So you guys stay tuned and I'll show you how this chicken comes out. Check it out. Got me my nice little trusted shears and we're just gonna cut this fine. There she is, nice and spatch cocked. All, all we gotta do now is season it up a little bit. Salt, pepper, garlic. Next thing we're gonna be using is our sexy chicken. We're gonna put it inside of our Ziploc bag. And I'm not sure how people are gonna react to this, but I like using simple recipes when I do my cooking. And I'm gonna be using uh, this Laurie's 30 minute marinade. You could let it marinate for longer, but this is the Caribbean jerk marinade that, that I'm gonna be using. We're gonna give it a try, see what it's all about. Let's take a whiff. Ooh, man. I can, papaya. I can smell the papaya. Oh yeah, it's mango papaya juice. I thought it was a mango. <laughs> but here we go. We're gonna let this bad boy go sit in our refrigerator, you know, for a little while, and then we're gonna pop it on our Weber performer. But besides that, you guys stay tuned. I'll show you what this uh, Caribbean jerk spatchcock chicken turns out like. Hey, what's up guys? It's time to get this show on the road. We're gonna go ahead and start off first uh, getting a Weber cube lit up in our Weber performer and we're gonna add a whole chimney of, of charcoal and we're gonna be using the Kingsford briquettes for our smoke today. Uh, in addition to that, uh, we're gonna be using the slow and sear and we're gonna be adding some apple cider vinegar inside of the trough to add it that extra flavor uh, to our chicken. So we're gonna be monitoring the temperature, making sure that our uh, chamber temperature doesn't get above 400 and we're gonna go ahead and cut the, the vent maybe about halfway, maybe to a quarter of the way, you know, slow that airflow in there and keep that temperature stabilized. Let's go ahead and get this Caribbean jerk spatchcock chicken inside of our Weber. Woo-wee! Boy, smells good. There we go. And we're gonna monitor the temperature until it gets to a, like 165 degrees of an internal temp and we should be ready to go in maybe, I don't know, I'm giving it about another, about an hour. Almost forgot to add my wood flavor to it. We're gonna be using cherry wood today and all I do with the, with the cherry wood, I just place it right on top of the grill grate, right where the charcoal is at and let it smoke from there. So, but besides that, that's all that's left. Let's watch the temperature, you know, get up to 165 and we'll go from there. Hey guys, let's go ahead and take a look at this chicken. Alarm is beeping, saying that it's reached 165. And uh, let's see what it looks like. Ooh -wee. Man, that chicken looks good. Very, very nice. The skin, very, very nice. Let me turn this alarm off. So, it's time to get them out. Let's go ahead and cut into this chicken. This chicken is done. It's reached the 165 temperature and man, it's taking on a beautiful color. I'm gonna just cut right down the middle, see what it's all about. Oh yes, but you look at that, look at those juices. 
Ooh-wee. Man, that looks good. Let me cut me a little piece of this breast and see what it's all about. Nice, very, very nice. It came out nice and tender. But man, whoo. It's time to do a little taste test. Here we go. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, that is super good. That Caribbean jerk chicken, oh my gosh, it's good. Add it with the JPAP rub and that sexy chicken with this uh, Caribbean jerk. Mm. I mean, it is very, very nice. But besides that guys, this is my presentation on my Caribbean jerk chicken doing a JP style. If you guys like what I'm doing here, do me a favor click that subscribe button over there and of course you know if you want to be notified in regards to upcoming videos hit that bell okay and but besides that feel free to share this video with your friends I appreciate you guys very much and you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you on the next cookout take care